I have an entire list about jammers and the authors, but I feel like people are still struggling understanding the difference and each time I see mentioned that this is a jammer, this is a theater, this is not a jammer and, and so on. So I think that I have to point out the main difference between a theater and a jammer and that is a theater can be traceable and a jammer is not. So why is this? Let's start first with uh, the authors and I will start with the first one which I built a long time ago and I think the video is still available on my page so it's basically uh, just an ESP and it's the project uh, Space Hun originally built so it's his code so basically here I have just uh, ESP3286 I think it's so basically it's just an ESP module and I added some uh, 18650 holders and the board from a power bank just to power the ESP so it's controlled through an GUI that you can access from your phone for example and back then I, I didn't have the 3D printer so this is what I came out, this button is, is functional, it powers the ESP so it breaks the power from the power bank which was original power bank and the ESP. So this is traceable because this is a author. This sends the authentication packages to your target. So this is traceable because you are sending something from this device to uh, target network so this is why the others are traceable and it's the same thing with this one this is also a theater so it is traceable it's not very easy to be uh, traced but it is possible so these two are the others next let's start because th these are the only two the others that I have until now let's start now with the jammers uh, I personally think that jammers are the best choice if you want to, let's say, kick someone out of the network because these are not traceable. You are not sending packages to the target. You are just jamming the network. So let's think what the jam means when it's about traffic. It's a bunch of cars. That are blocking the road right it's the same when it comes uh, to the internet so it's a bunch of signal that it's more than usual so it's jamming the connection it's a, a lot more signals that you would normally have so this one is uh, uh, is only for 2.4 and it's one watt sweep source and it works for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth because it's uh, working on 2.4. So it's also, um, you can use it for drones and such or anything else. So let me open it up. This has already an amplifier built in, which is a one watt amplifier. So I will try to be fast, but unfortunately I don't think I will. Uh, there are a lot of, let's say, types of this device available, starting from 1 watt until 100 watts, I think. You can imagine if this 1 watt has like 10 meters, maybe, range, then multiply that with 100 and you will get the range for the 100 watt but uh, that 100 watt one is i think if i remember correctly uh three three hundred bucks so it's not a lot if you really need it okay so here we just have a aluminium enclosure with 
which is supposed to be a thermal pad. I'm not sure how it's the quality. And here we have the board. So as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me get to focus. Here we have the buffer SM2400, which is not the real, real name um, if you want to buy it separately. But this is the buffer. The, the, this small thing is sending the, the signal, the jamming signal. And we also have a small amplifier. And basically that's it. It's just an aluminum enclosure handling everything, but and an SME connector here. So you can plug an antenna and you can also plug an amplifier if you have a more powerful one because this already has one watt inside. So this is the buffer, keep in mind this is the brain of the operation, this sends the packages away but it's not traceable because it jams everything. You can target one specific Wi-Fi, it will float everything, all the connections around you. So this is why, I mean, both of these types are illegal, both the others and jammers. But if we can classify them, this is more illegal because this jams everything. So you can't use it, uh, let's say, for testing on your personal network because it will jam everything. And you can say, oh, I will, I will use it only on my network so it's safe. No, you can't do that. Once started, it will jam everything around you. I was thinking of buying a 20 watts one, the 100 watts. Of course, it's too too big for me, but I was uh, curious of the range of the 20 watts one. Maybe in the future, I don't know. That's just currently just for I don't know for fun, maybe because I don't really need it. This was bought in 2022 because I wanted to test a jammer that has an amplifier built in. So yeah, this has an amplifier and it's all that you need. You can connect a semi antenna here. Uh, you can plug a USB-C down here, uh, 5 volts, 2 amps, that's it, that's plug and play. It gets kind of hot, but that's why it has an aluminium enclosure. Okay, and this is, I think, the start of the show. I, I like this one the most, and maybe it's because it was my first purchase. This was bought in 2021. These are not made anymore. So um, you can get them. I tried to reach out to the seller that sold me this. Back in 2021, this was, I think, somewhere around 70 euros. Something like that. I hope I'm not mistaken. Somewhere around 70, 80, 80 euros. Hey, 70 euros, 80 bucks. Something like that. So let's take the clothes off. It's a shame they don't make this anymore, but I can understand why this little guy took around three months to arrive to my door back then and I'm not sure if it came defective or if I broke it in the first place and I will I will show you how in just one second. 
but the thing is it was not working and I started to argue with the, the sailor and she told me it should be working and it worked for a couple of minutes or hours or days I, I don't really remember exactly but it worked when it arrived and it broke after a few weeks imagine I, I didn't use it daily but broke and I thought that it was defective or uh, something like this so this is the masterpiece so the short story is that it works on three channels so you have 2.4 5.2 and 5.8 you have here micro usb and basically you just need to power it up and it will jump the entire network around you on all three spectrums this 2.4 had the same uh, buffer as these ones but i think i burned it i'm not sure how i think i touch it with a screwdriver or um Oh no, I, I think it was not uh, flat on the side, so I tried to heat it up and, res um, and try to get it flat on the surface. And I think I moved one little thing from here, so the entire thing broke. I spoke to the seller, he told me I'm a scammer or something like that didn't want to return uh, the money and he was right so I searched around and I found the replacement it's not the same buffer but it works in the same way it has the same size as you remember the one that we had here but it's a different naming I'm not sure if you can see it now you can so two, three, two, five, zero, eight, something like that. Uh, it was two bucks or two bucks, three pieces. I don't remember, but it works great and it jams everything. The only problem is that this doesn't have an amplifier. So if this has like 10 meters, this only has like three meters range, but that's why I bought my amplifiers, which I am currently using uh, in my word driver sessions. So these are in my word driver case. These are the amplifiers. One is for 2.4, one is for 5.2. They are working great. These are 4 watts amplifiers. So when hooking them up to this device, it's four times more powerful than this one so yeah it's a, a great piece of equipment to have in hand but i'm still interested in the 20 watt one maybe the 100 one i don't know it depends how many views this this video will will have uh, because as i mentioned i also have a playlist related to jammers and the others but it's not so successful as i hoped so let's see let's see what the audience will say so as i said you can block everything with this device you can't target one specific network unfortunately you will block everything so Please keep in mind before buying something like this. If a diotter can be considered a toy, this is very much legal in, I think, all the countries. So please keep in mind before uh, purchasing something like this. I saw something similar on insta these days i don't remember the guy's name <clears throat> and then he had a one watt uh, jammer 
So it's basically the same as this one, but it, it had a, a different case and a radiator. It has an aluminum case, so it acts the same. Maybe it's not... Uh, maybe it doesn't have the same efficiency, since that radiator had a larger surface. But when it comes to to the main action point, well, jamming things, it's the same. While this hooked to my OCD, it's not straight. Uh, this hooked to the amplifiers that I just shown. It's the most powerful thing that I have currently and it's for all the spectres so this makes it way cooler okay i will uh, end this video here i don't think we we need to talk more about this <clears throat> just a friendly reminder keep in mind keep in mind before purchasing any jammers that they are illegal and it's not illegal to have them, it's not illegal to keep them around the house or owning one, it's illegal to use one, especially against networks that you don't own. So unfortunately, having such a wide range, you can't control them. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber, please stay safe and don't Play with toys you can handle and see you in the next one. Cheers!